Hey there, it's Chris Leverdeen, and today I'm going to share with you how to crochet a cup. And by crochet cup, I mean this portion of a crochet top that covers your chest. Now, throughout the years and throughout all of my crochet top tutorials, I've gotten so many questions on how to crochet a cup. And although I already have a dedicated how to crochet a cup for beginners video on my channel, there are still um, plenty who have lots of questions and I thought this would be a perfect time to update it. So here we are. Again, this is a tutorial on how to make a crochet cup, aka this part of a crochet top. Alrighty then, let's get started. So for today's video, I'm using this light pink yarn in the size 4, 100% acrylic, as well as a size 5 millimeter hook. But of course you can use whatever size yarn and type of yarn, colored yarn, size hook you want. It really doesn't matter, the steps will always be the same. So the first thing that I'm going to do is grab my yarn and then create a slip knot. Now for those of you who are completely new to crochet and are not familiar with how to make a slip knot or how to chain or um, single crochet and um, things like that, I do have a crocheting for beginners video that I would highly suggest that you watch first and then practice with that for a bit and then come back to this tutorial. But for those of you who are already familiar with a chain and going back on that chain with a single crochet, you're pretty much good. So after you've created your slip knot, you put your hook through the loop of that slip knot and then you're going to chain 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So I've chained 12 right here and I've come to the conclusion that I need to chain 12 chains due to the size of my chest. Now I am rather small chested so for those of you who are larger chested, you may need to chain more than 12 chains. The way I measure it is pretty much from the bottom of your boob to the middle of your boob. And um, that's what this should cover. Hopefully that works out for you guys. I got a lot of questions on how to make different size cups. And that's my um, my explanation. So after you have uh, determined how many chains you need to make for your size cup, you're going to go back on that chain with a single crochet. So you're going to go into the first stitch and you're going to create a single crochet. And you're just going to single crochet all the way until you get to the end of the project as you normally would for any other project. Whenever you go down the row, you're going to make sure that you go into every single stitch without skipping any stitches because if you skip a stitch it will throw everything off and we don't want to do that. So again, once you get to the end of the row, you're going to make sure you go into the very last stitch and this is what the project looks like. And then from here, you're going to chain one, flip the project over, then go into the very first stitch right over here. So a lot of people skip over this very first one and they go into this next one thinking that that's the first stitch, but the first stitch is actually this one. Now when people make the mistake of going into this stitch, then they run into the issue of their cup curving and that's probably the number one question I get when I share a tutorial that involves making a crochet cup. They always say that they're having issues making the crochet cup and that it's curving and I'm pretty sure that 99% of the time it's because they are not going into that first stitch or they're not chaining one at the end. So from here you're going to single crochet your way down the project as you normally would and again the project looks normal, normal horizontal project like so. But instead of continuing back this way as you normally would for any other project, we're actually going to flip the project vertically now. And now we're going to be working like this as opposed to like this. So it's going to create more of a triangle as opposed to a rectangle as you normally would if you continued going like this. So yes, um, flip the project this way and then go into this middle stitch right here and you're going to crochet three single crochets 
within that one stitch. So here is two and three. Now the reason we're going to be crocheting three stitches into this middle stitch every time we come across it is because this is going to be the point of the cup. This is what's going to start making the cup again pointy and eventually we'll get here but this is what the beginning stages of this cup looks like. So from here, after you've crocheted those three single crochets into that one middle stitch, we're going to now crochet our way down this side of the project. So you're just going to make sure that you go into every single stitch as you normally would with that single crochet. And again, if you're not familiar with single crochet, then please visit my crocheting for beginners video that is linked in the description box below um, and then come back to this tutorial. So now that I have reached the very last stitch of this row, this is what the project looks like and then I'm going to chain one, flip the project over and then I'm going to go into the very first stitch of the new row right here and create a single crochet and start my new row and just continue on with the rest of the row with single crochet until I get to the end. So again, you see how it's not curving, it's relatively straight. It is because I always make sure that I go into every single stitch up to the very last one. Then I chain one, flip the project over and go into the very first stitch of the new row. I know it's very repetitive, but it's so important, especially because there are so many people who comment that they're having issues with their cups curving or not being straight. And I could almost guarantee that that is the reason why. Um, and if it's not the reason why, then I would think that um, maybe you're crocheting too tightly and that is why the cup is curving. So from here, we're going to go ahead and find the middle stitch right in here. And then once we find the middle stitch, we're going to, again, single crochet three times into that same stitch. And then we're going to work our way down to the other side, to the bottom, where we'll be doing the exact same thing once we get there. Now again, it is important to make those three single crochets every time you get to the middle stitch. Another question that is often asked is how do I know which stitch is the middle stitch? Well, since we crochet three stitches inside of that one stitch, there will always be a middle stitch because three is an odd number and there's one on one side and then one on the opposite side and then there's one in the middle. So there will always be a middle stitch and um, you can also just pull on the middle of the project and you'll find out which stitch is the middle stitch. So when I go back up, this is the stitch that I need to create three single crochets in and then I can move on. But yeah, this is what the project looks like so far. You can see that it's starting to look more and more like a triangle. It still looks kind of funny right now, but once this part widens out, it will again look more like a triangle. So we're just going to keep with the pattern here. So I've gone into the very last stitch. Now I'm going to chain one, flip the project over, go into the very first stitch right here, and then continue on up the project until I reach the top where I'm going to crochet three single crochets inside of that one middle stitch. And once I do that, I'm just going to continue um, with the pattern until the project gets wider and wider and I put the project against myself and I like the coverage. So again, I have approached the top here. This is the middle stitch. So I'm going to create one, two, and three single crochets inside of it. And I'm going to continue on working my way down the other side until I reach the bottom. And once I reach the bottom, I'm going to make sure that I go into the very last stitch. And yeah. That is pretty much the entire pattern. Again, little by little, you'll see that it looks more and more like a triangle. Right now, it's a bit rounded, but as you keep going, um, the point will be more profound and the rest of the cup will just form into a triangle 
It's just as long as you keep with the pattern. So I'm going to do this a couple more times and then I will show you what it looks like um, midway through and then finally when it's done. But yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do. So after a few more rows, this is what the project looks like and it kind of reminded me of another issue some people may have. Now a lot of people have an issue where the cup is curving upwards like this. It's kind of hard to tell, but basically it's curving upwards like this. And again, that is most likely because of the issues that I mentioned earlier, the not chaining one, not going into um, the very first stitch in the new row or going into the very last stitch of the previous row. But um, the issue of your cup maybe curving it like this, you could kind of see it right now if I mold it. Like if it starts curving like this, then you may be having the opposite problem where you actually do not need to chain one anymore. You need to just not chain one and then go into the very first stitch and that will help pull the project more like so that it's straight as opposed to curved this way. Um, say if I were to not do that and I were just to chain one and then I would go into this first stitch here, then you could definitely see that it's starting to, it could possibly curve more this way. But if I were to skip that step and not chain one at the end, then I could just go into that first stitch and it'll again start pulling it back this way so it could counter the, the curving. Um, so yeah, those are two issues that you could possibly uh, run into and two ways that you could solve that issue. So yeah, this is what the project looks like after a few more rows since I left you last. You can see that it's starting to look more triangular and a bit wider as well. And again, all I did was keep up with the same exact pattern. So from here I'm going to oops, reach the end. I'm going to chain one and go into the very first stitch. And then uh, I'm going to uh, make my way to the top and once I reach the top I'm going to find that middle stitch and I'm going to single crochet three times into that one stitch and then work my way down the project with a single crochet and once I reach the end of that, then I'm going to chain one, flip the project over, then make sure that I go into the very first stitch of that new row, and just continue on and on and on until I am happy with the size of the cup. And three single crochets inside one stitch, and now I'm moving on to the next. And yeah, just keep on going until you're happy with the size of the cup. And after a few more rows, this is my completed cup. Again, depending on your size and preference, your cup may look smaller or larger than mine. My chest is on the smaller side, so my cups really don't look too big. But yeah, it's pretty much the exact same way I make all of my cups for my crochet tops. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, if this was also too fast for you, I would definitely suggest that you watch it in a slower speed or you pause and replay, pause and replay. Um, and I also have a blog post that also breaks down all the steps on how to make a cup and that will be linked in the description box below. So yeah, um, I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, please give a big thumbs up before you go. And if you enjoy watching free crochet tutorials, I have a ton of them on my channel so you can go ahead and search up one of my crochet playlists and find many beginner friendly, intermediate, and more advanced crochet projects on there. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you have lots of fun crocheting your new projects. I will see you next time. Bye! And have a magical day.